<laughs> getting hot in here with that oven on. Now make sure if you're making homemade pizzas like this that you preheat the oven because you're going to want it really hot. But the oven should be about 350. I have it on 500 mm -hmm. broil, high setting. Now the thicker your pizza, the lower the setting, but we're just doing cheese and pepperoni and a little bit of sauce, so high setting, good. Okay, pizza one, use whatever sauce you like. This is just a canned sauce that my wife likes, and it said it was a three cheese four flavor. Cheese. Four cheese flavor. Yep. A lot of people could use a brush on this, so I like to use the ladle. Start in the center. And just hold the pan, push the sauce out. If I have enough, start back in the center again. Don't press down too hard, you don't want to tear your pizza dough. I'll have enough. Get some more sauce. Mm, mm, this is going to be a yummy one. I'm going to eat it. I'm not sharing. No. <laughs> huh? you got to share. Oh yeah. Extra saucy. Alright, let's make this one a cheese pizza. Alright. That's what the girls love in this house. It's just plain cheese. What cheese. Monterey and Monterey Jack and mozzarella, right? Yeah. Low fat, reduced mozzarella. Hard stuff, not that delicious fresh stuff. Sorry, I didn't have it. Yeah, and they like a lot of cheese. So, as you can see, it is more of a cheese pie. Okay. Where is that Parmigiano Romano? Did I move that? I sure did, didn't I? It's right there on the counter. Can you grab it for me? Mmm. Yeah, let's put a little bit of this Parmesan on there. Okay, pizza number one. Once you uh, videotape that going in the oven, honey, right. with your camera. So far, I'll go ahead and take my roller. I'll never wash it in the water so it doesn't uh, have any of those raised grains. Stick it in the middle. Yeah, the roller the way. So I put the roller in the middle of the dill, and I'm going to work my way out in the middle, all the way and around. Too, come and check out. Doesn't work the dill. The more you work the dill, the right. better it's going to get. We're on a deadline. Let's get these other pizzas going. By the time we get done making these other two pizzas, that pizza should be done. And we'll have the kids come down and eat. And the leftover sauce. You can always make spaghetti mm -hmm. with the pizza as a Italian night. Yeah, serve up some macaroni or spaghetti with the extra sauce for your kids with some butter garlic noodles, whatever. Pew, pew. Oh, I'm getting so hungry. Not so much cheese on this one because we're going to put some pepperonis. delicious pepperonis on this feast. And when I say we're going to put some pepperonis on here, yeah, we're going to put some pepperonis on here. Oh yeah, you know another thing? I love to deep fry these pepperonis into little pepperoni chips. That's another thing you can do with pepperonis. And if I'm not mistaken, the deep fried ones are better for you than the regular because you've cooked all the fat out of it like crispy bacon. But that's just my hypothesis. <laughs> I think I could sneak a couple anchovies in here. I think, mm, no. I think the kids would notice that. They would. If you want to eat it, you can have it. <laughs> no, no, no anchovies for you. <coughs> Now I'm going to just take a little bit of Parmesan over the top. That's how they like it. Voila, pepperoni pizza done. Alright, now here's our tough. It's our tough boy. And usually, the people that like cheese pizza usually outweigh the people that like pizza with toppings at my house, so we usually go ahead and make this one a cheese as well. Not pretty, but delicious. Oh, 
much. Very kind of you, dear. Oh, there's the rest of our cheese. It was about, what, a pound and a half? A pound. We've got a pound. Not bad. She said we could, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So nice, thank you. All right, into the oven. Well, let's go check the other one. Now you guys look at these with this camera while we go check the other one, will you? Breadsticks today. We're just going to save it and use it tomorrow. We're going to probably make some uh, cornmeal flour, corn flour, cakes in a blanket, or something like that. We'll, 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 we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> All bubbly and cheesy and delicious looking. And I'm definitely going to take a yum yum bite of this. Homemade pizza always tastes better than store bought. Oh, I can see the bubbles on this one. Oh, delicious. Come on, have some pizza. Just pepperonis. Yummy, yummy, yummy bite. <laughs> They're so bad. 